so once again my question that uh, tell me something about yourself sir uh, my name is sk zahin and i study in class 12 in uh, kotilia school in kota rajasthan uh, i belong from west bengal uh, uh, my hometown is bardwan uh, and uh, i have uh, uh, my favorite subject is uh, maths and uh, my uh, hobbies are uh, playing chess and uh, cricket okay. and yes so how is your exams going on like i think you would have had boards exam yes sir then other exams what are the exams you are targeting this year uh, i have given the uh, board exams and uh, i am targeting j mains and advance uh, one mains i have already given and uh, and yes and that is isi okay so what is the preference order of your exams like if you get selected in j mains j advance and isi also then how you will you know how will you decide where to go uh, if i get in isi then uh, I will go for sure means uh, there is a very high chance I will go, and uh, uh, my uh, means my aim uh, is uh, either uh, ISI or if I get in one of the old IITs if I get in computer science branch, or otherwise I will go go in ISI. Okay. So how is it uh, UG A UGB exam of ISI? Uh, UGB exam. Yeah. Is a uh, yeah, what was the question? Huh? You Sorry, sir. your ISI exam when you wrote there must yes, be sir. two part of the exam, no? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So so how was those exams? Do you remember them or you forgot? Yes, sir. Uh, good only, sir. Uh in UGA uh I did most of the questions. Uh in UGB, uh, I think I did about uh, four to five questions. Okay. And in UGA, how much marks did you get? In UGA, 97.5. Okay. So tell me next, what is your favorite topic in maths? Favorite topic, uh, functions and PNC. Functions and PNC, great. So I'll ask a question from functions then, okay? Okay, sir. So the question here is that you are given greatest integer of x minus greatest integer of x square upon 3 plus 2x is equal to 6. You have to actually solve it, means you have to find the values of x which will satisfy it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So, what exactly is going on in your mind? Sir, uh, uh, left hand side. Uh... Right hand side is 6 an integer. So left hand side the uh, bracket part is uh, an integer. So 2x must be an integer. And uh, so I have taken n, uh, sorry, x in the form. Uh, two cases I have taken. One, x is an integer or x is an uh, integer plus half. Okay. These two forms are possible. Uh, yeah. I have checked by x as an integer. So uh, there is no solution. I didn't get any solution. And for x integer, you are not getting any solution? No. No, I think it is x is root 3 if you put. 3. Mm. Yes. For 3, I think you can see the solutions. Yes. Yes, a 3 is a solution. And uh, uh, x, uh, if it is in the form n plus half, then I got 7 by 2 and 11 by 2. Okay, any other solution? Yeah, yes, one more time. Okay, no problem. Too. Let us move to the next question then, okay? Okay, sir. You said PNC, okay? 
Yes. So in PNC, just a fundamental uh, principle of multiplication or addition we do. Okay. Yes. Sir. So we are writing numbers from 1, 2, 3, and so on, 10, 11, and so on, 100, 101, and so on. And we are going up to, let us say, double to double two. Okay. okay. So how many times do we need to write zero? How many zeros are to be written? How many times zero are to be written? Like in one zero, we have to write zero, but in yes. all these numbers, one, two, three, we are not supposed to write any zero. Okay. So we will start counting from here only. Yes. Okay, please do. Yeah, so. Yes, sir. sir, I am getting 642. 6? Six? 642. How you calculate it? Tell me. Sir, first uh, means four, uh, four numbers will be there, four digits. So first I have, uh, yeah. zeros can be in these four digits. So mm -hmm. first I have taken these uh, tens, di uh, ones digit and counted. And, How many? Uh, this I got 222 because uh, from 10 to 2220 it will be so 222 and uh, then tens digit uh, from uh, it will start from 100 100 uh, 100 till uh, 109 it will be there so 10 like this uh, if it will be from 200 to 209 also so like this uh, it will go till 2 uh, let's see. Uh, 2200 till 2209. Hmm. So, like this, uh, I got uh, 220 cases. Correct. And now, uh, this hundreds digit uh, here, it will start from uh, 1000 to uh, 1099. And again, then again from 2000 to 2099. So hundred and hundred. Yeah, it will be how much hundred? Yes, hundred and hundred, two hundred. From yes, sir. Six forty. I think this is correct. Absolutely correct. Great. Great. So let us ask you one more question from PNC only. Um, you understand what is bearing meant? Uh, yes, sir. Bearing meant okay. So you are given a word bottle B O double T L E. Okay. Yes. So you have to dearrange all the letters so that they do not come at their places. Like B should not come at first place, O should not come at second place, L should not come at fifth place, E should not come at sixth place. But as you can see, T are two, so they should not come. Neither at third nor at fourth place. Okay. Is it done, Sahin? Yes, sir. Seven. Sir, is it twenty three? No. So will you like to share your ideas? Yes, I have taken the two T's different, uh, T1 and T2. Then uh, I have tried to uh, find the total number of D arrangements. And uh, then I have taken uh, sub I am trying to subtract the cases uh, in which uh, these T1 and T2 are in their positions. Like uh, T1 and T2 are opposite, but in the third and fourth place only. But what if T1 is in the place of T2, but T2 is not in the place of T1? Yes, sir. those cases, those cases I didn't take. So those cases I'm not able to find. You're not able to find? 
no sir okay okay then i think we should stop at this point of time already i think it is 4 uh, 45 minutes yes sir so i would like to give you few ideas regarding your interview yes, number sir. one that uh, when they will be asking you try to avoid telling detailed thing about j mains or j advanced okay sir okay they may ask you that what is your percentile and what is your plan for j advanced so you can tell that i am i will be writing them but i am not that serious because my main aim is isi okay sir okay because you are in front of those professors who are looking yes. for isi so that should be your uh, idea they will not verify after your interview so that is one thing because if you say that i am very much keen in going iit and computer science then they may ask you them why you want to you know get admission in isi or why do you want to waste one seat here okay we will give the seat to anyone anyone else so that may be the thing so you can uh, avoid giving more answers or detailed answer on the j means and j advanced that is one okay. thing. number two that your isi exam you uh, you have two parts okay yes for each part uh, uh, for first part it is i think objective and second part it is uh, subjective where you have to write the answers and your copy will be with them yes sir so please go through the entire paper because they can ask you question from your uh, actual paper also okay sir. they can ask you that why did you this write this step or why did you write this step so you should know you should be able to explain what you did in your paper okay so sir. if you have done those question or you have not done those question both kind of question you prepare them and say you can say them that although i was not able to do these three four or five questions but i did them after going to home and i was able to do them. okay sir. So, so these are few things that you should take care of by the way what is your j main percentile this year sir uh, 99.33 okay good very good somebody so are you very clever or not yes sir okay okay thank you thank you sir. Thank you, sir.